Hello, beautiful people. I'm so glad that you're watching this video. I'm having a really good day. I'm not at my nine to five job. Um, I'm at home and I love home. And it's also getting warm here, which like, thank God you guys, I do not thrive in winter. Also, I'm trying to get my hair to my like waist by June, like here. And it's February 17th, so what's that, like four inches? It could be here. And um, I get it that your hair grows half an inch a month. My friend's a hairdresser, and she tells me that, like, literally every day. She's like, half an inch a month. Like, chill. But I think that I can manifest faster than that. If people can manifest through like, I don't know if you guys know about like Joe Dispenza's work. If people can manifest like actual, like full body healing from like cancer, I think that I can manifest my hair growing that faster than half an inch a month. Also, if you have any hair growing tips, drop them in the comments because then it will give me like the placebo effect and then I'll think that I'm doing something and then it will probably speed it up. Anyway, the video today has nothing to do with hair. Um, and this is Snuggles. My boyfriend got him for me from the grocery store for Valentine's Day. He was, that wasn't all he got me if you're starting to get worried. He was like, I saw this little guy just hanging on the shelf and I knew like he had to come home. So Snuggles is here. Also, I washed my like duvet cover with something orange. I don't know what, I got these new towels. It might've been that. And now it's kind of like tie dyed orange in some areas and it's really disappointing. So I'm gonna have to get a new one. Um, but today, not having to do with any of those things, we're gonna be talking about weight set point. And I already know, I already know that this is probably something that you are stressed about. Just like, am I ever gonna stop gaining weight? Is my body just gonna find its set point? How am I gonna know that it's gonna happen for me? All of these things. And I think that it would be really easy for me to sit here and say to you, yeah, if you just keep going on the path, your body will find its set point and then all will be well. But here's the fact is that um, that's not necessarily true. Not that your body won't find its set point because it's going to. Um, but for me, the bigger goal is to get you to a place where you're not constantly waiting for that set point. Like my goal with all of my clients is like, let's get you to a place where you don't even care if you hit that set point. Like you are just so fine with your body like naturally flowing at whatever weight it desires to be at in any given month that like it doesn't affect you to the point where like you feel like your life has to be on pause until you hit that set point or in like until your body looks like a certain way or until you're sure that like your body is at the right weight, whatever that even means. Because here's the thing, I'm recovered, right? Had my period back, all those good things. But like my body in the summer is different from my body in the winter, which is different from my body in the spring, which is different from my body in the fall. And my body during my period is different weight from my body during my like follicular phase. Like the female body is like the ocean, okay? Constantly taking different shapes. The same part of the ocean takes a different form and shape every time that a wave comes. Like the like month to month to month to month and then like one year to the next your body is going to look different regardless of if you like are in recovery recovered or still stuck in your ed or whatever the female body is constantly going through phases and like our emotions change our body and the seasons change our body and our cravings change our body and like who cares? Literally, like my goal is to get you to a place where you can just let the body flow and not need to control what it looks like or to be waiting for it to look a certain way or to think that like this particular way of it looking is the best, whatever. I, I mean, obviously like you hit a set point and then your body's gonna fluctuate within that like five to 10 pound range. That's great. But like, let's get you to a place where it doesn't even really matter. You know, because yeah, we can just constantly be waiting for that set point, but like, okay, well, what happens when like, say you say, hit your set point in summer where you're outside all the time, you're like constantly running around doing stuff 
And then winter comes and you gain 10 pounds and you think that something's wrong and then you freak out and then your ED comes back. It's 100% possible. Like I definitely gain weight in the winter. It's just my, like I'm eating heavier foods. I don't want to go outside because I literally hate being cold. I would rather like stay inside all, ta all the time and just avoid it. And like, I'm way happier in the summer. I'm like way more bubbly, way more like going out with people, way more going to do things. In the winter, it's like, don't look at me, don't talk to me. I am going to like come home from work and watch TV and that's all that can be expected of me. I really do just like hibernate. But you, it doesn't bother me. Like it's not a thing anymore, you know? And when I was trying to recover, it was a thing because I was like, Am I doing something wrong? Like, why am I like freaking out over the fact that I've gained weight? Why have I gained weight? Like, what's going on? I just didn't understand like how my body actually worked. So let's just talk about like how you're gonna hit your set point. I have to yawn, but like I talk too fast to yawn. Let's talk about how you're gonna hit your set point, how we're gonna get you there and how you're gonna like chill out about it in the meantime and learn to accept the fact that like your set point is like a 10 pound range and you can just be chill about it. It doesn't have to affect everything in your life. I had to pause it to yawn. <laughs> okay, um, let's talk about the phases of getting to your set point. So you're in, you're in your ED, you're restricting pretty hard, you're over exercising, right? And then you're like, I'm giving it up. I'm giving it up, I'm gonna start recovering. Good for you, so hard to get to that phase, like you're doing the right thing. And usually you go right into the extreme hunger. I did at least. And it's just this phase of like, I need to eat anything and everything. It's not binging. Your body literally is just trying to re-nourish itself. It's trying to feel safe again. It's trying to make up for all the lost like damage or lost time, all the lost like nourishment, trying to make up for all the damage, trying to heal like as quick as possible. Your body's not like playing around like you know, just whatever. Yeah, like I can be in the starvation state and function. No, your body's like always trying to get to that place of being fully nourished as fast as possible because that's what we need in order to thrive and reproduce and like be happy and have our serotonin levels at a normal amount. And anyway, you're gonna go into extreme hunger. You're gonna start to gain weight really fast. Chances are you are also giving up exercise, which is amazing. You're gonna gain weight because if you've been at this suppressed weight, you're just going to gain weight. Like that's, it has to happen. It's a good thing. Let's just change the narrative. Like I was like so much smaller than this. And then I just gained weight. And now it's like, I'm happy. I'm happy with my body. Like I'm more confident in this body. I was so scared that I wouldn't be. I was so scared that I would be like, just like, oh my God, like feeling constantly bad about myself or like constantly feeling inferior to other people, but like, no, that's actually the opposite of what happened. And now I feel like way better about myself. So, okay, you're gaining the weight really fast. And this is when the fear sets in. Is it ever gonna stop? Am I gonna hit my set point? What's my set point going to be? Am I gonna overshoot? Like all these things. Let me tell you something. First of all, you're not going to gain weight forever. I remember when I first started recovery, I didn't have a coach or any support. And um, I was in a yoga class and I was having all this anxiety because I had given up like running, which I was like doing pretty often. I gave up like any intense exercise. I was just committed to doing yoga and walking. And I was like in this yoga class and the anxiety was just all bubbling up to the surface of like, I'm going to gain weight forever. I'm not going to like my body. Like if I'm not controlling this, then how is it going to stop? Like all these things. And I like felt this voice literally saying to me, you're not going to gain weight forever. That's not how your body works. Like you're going to get healthy again. And that doesn't include gaining weight forever. And where did you pick up that idea that that would happen? Like, who told you that that was how it's gonna work? Why are you afraid of that? Like, and I just felt this encouragement of like, if you can just release control and let your body fall where it needs to fall, you're going to be fine and you're going to be happier. And I always just came back to that in recovery and that was exactly what happened. You don't gain weight forever. Second, you have an idea of what you should weigh. Like you have an idea of what you should weigh, what like you would like to weigh, 
where you would feel most comfortable weighing, what you would feel most comfortable weighing. But the body has its own needs and ideas. The body knows what it needs to weigh in order to fully thrive, in order to feel safe. Like this is a huge thing that no one talks about. Like your body would rather hold on to a few extra pounds than to not hold on to a few extra pounds if you've been through any period of un feeling unsafe in your body. Like if your body's been through any period where it's learned that it can't trust the environment because it's been through that starvation state, your body's gonna prefer to hang on to a few extra pounds for a little while. And you know what? No, none of us can decide or can tell what the, the point is that like you should weigh. No one, only your body knows. And like, can you be okay with that? Can you release the need to control it? Can you release the fear? Can you release your judgment of it? Like, can you just let your body do what it needs to do in order to feel safe and nourished again? That's the big question. And then in terms of overshooting, yeah, it's probably gonna happen. It's the exact same thing that I just said. Like, if you've been through that fight or flight, you know, survival mode, starvation response, the body is going to force you, no, wrong word. Your body is going to prefer to hold on to a few extra pounds for a little while. Maybe it's a few months, maybe it's a year, maybe it's two years, but eventually your body will probably lose those pounds. And like, by that point, you won't even care because we're gonna get you to a place where you don't even care what your body weighs because you know that you're healthy. So yeah, it might happen. To be quite honest, I don't really think that that happened to me or like I just, my body is still like holding on to those pounds that it doesn't wanna get rid of, like, which is fine with me. It's just one of those things where like, I don't feel uncomfortable in my weight. I feel like my weight is perfect for me and if that if my body is like overshooting anything like that's great it can just have it you know what i mean i don't know if that makes any sense like i just don't care anymore and chances are that by the point time that you like hit that weight point you won't care either if you are working with a coach who's going to help you with your body image like me but if you okay so how do we get you to this point of not caring anymore how do we get you there? We got to do intellectual interventions. We have to literally find out why you need your body to look a certain way. What is it about your brain that's telling you we need to look a certain way in order to be happy, in order to be safe, in order to be fulfilled? We need to get to the bottom of this, of like, why do you need to hit your set point so much? Why are you so afraid of it? Why are you needing to control this whole journey so much? And we need, to, we need to get you to understand that the point of ED recovery is for the development of your soul. Like you are gaining wisdom, you are growing, you are becoming like this entirely different person. On the other side of recovery, you are going to be such a healed, wise person that it doesn't, it's not even about the weight at that point. Like I learned so many lessons in recovery that just transformed me from the inside out to the point where I was like, none of it even matters. Like, I don't care what my body has to weigh because I understand that like, I need to let go of the fact that I need my body to look a certain way. And why am I relying on this? And like, why is this the only thing that's keeping me feeling safe in the world? Why can't I just learn to like, feel safe in the world despite what I look like? Why can't I learn to not care what people think about me? Why do I think this is like a life or death situation? You know, it's like we have to just unpack all of that and figure out why you feel so fearful of the weight gain. And I do get it. I do. It's terrifying. It feels like you've tried so hard to avoid this one thing because you think that it's gonna make you happier to be smaller. But once you get that thing, you realize that it never made you happier and then it kind of pins you in a corner because you're like, well, I'm really unhappy and I wanna just let go and completely like heal and gain weight. But at the same time, I've trained my brain to only feel safe if it's losing weight. So where does that leave me? It's a lot, it's a lot. 
And I think that slowly it becomes not about the weight once you become committed to a higher goal. For me, that higher goal was like, if I recover, then I put an end to this generational, literally like curse that has been on my family. Like my grandma, my uncle and my mom and me all have or had eating disorders. I'm the only one that fully recovered. I'm the only one. My mom is 55, my uncle is 60, and my grandma is 85, 86. I'm the only one that recovered. They all still live with it every day. And they would all deny that they live with it because they can't look at it. And I knew like, every time that I would start to get afraid in recovery, I would tell myself a couple things. I would say, first of all, you're, you're uncomfortable because you're leaving it in the past, which is what you want. You've been asking for recovery. You've been asking for full healing and you're afraid because you're getting uncomfortable. You're watching yourself gain weight, but like the only way to break out of a small state of being, a very restricted state of being is like, you have to just kind of like shed that skin, which is uncomfortable and you have to like break out of it. And it's like, yeah, that's going to feel a little bit uncomfy, but like you're about to blossom. And that was what I would tell myself. I would say, you're uncomfortable because you're growing. You're not uncomfortable because you're doing something wrong. You're uncomfortable because you're growing. And if it like, recovery always felt so messy and I loved when my body just felt like, when I was in my ED, I just loved when my body felt like, almost just like emptied out and like clean and like perfectly put together. Like in my diet was just like perfect every day. You know what I mean? Like it gave me this weird sense of like accomplishment and like safety and control. Like my diet's fitting in this perfect box and I haven't like broken it today at all. And I feel so good about myself and like recovery gets messy. You're like, okay, I've eaten every meal out for the past like week and now I'm feeling really uncomfortable. And then like you heal from that uncomfort and you're like, oh, that's just normal because I'm just living my life and saying yes to everything and like going on dates and meeting people and like just living my life, right? Um, and we're, it just feels messy, you know, and you're dealing with like the digestive issues and feeling bloated and your stomach and your body has to catch up to the fact that you're recovering and it, it's hard. It feels messy. It feels like you're doing the wrong thing. It feels like everything's just like you're losing everything that you worked for, but it's like, no, actually like you're in the exact right place. Like keep going. Um, and then I would tell myself like all the things, like I'm doing this for a high purpose. I'm breaking generational trauma. I'm doing this for all the other women that are too scared to recover right now. Like I'm choosing to not be scared. I'm choosing to move through that fear so that I can then pave the way because that's like with everything in this society, if people need to like break at the mold, it felt to me like I would look around and be like, okay, um, every woman in my life is dieting right now or trying to lose weight. Every woman in the media is extremely small and like obviously dieting and restricting. Like who around here is also trying to recover from a severe eating disorder? Like any role models out here? And it was constantly like, no, no, no. Couldn't find any role models. Literally couldn't find a single woman to look up to, to be like, she's doing it, I can do it too. She did it and she like turned out fine and actually got better, I can do that too. I couldn't find anybody, anybody. And so I was just like, you know what? I can't be the only person that's looking for a good role model like this. So fuck it, I guess it's gonna have to be me. And I would come back to that in recovery every single time that I would start to feel scared, I would start to feel uncomfortable, I would start to feel like, uh, fuck this, like I'm out, I'm restarting my ED, whatever. Like. I would just be like, no, actually you're, you're uncomfortable because you're growing and you're doing this so that you can help millions of women. So I kept coming back to those things and like just doing intellectual intervention on myself of like, we're not sliding back into that. And over time, it started to became, become less important to me what my weight was and it became more important to me that I reached full healing. So it was like, it became less important to me that I hit my set point and that my weight was like perfectly normal and healthy. And it became more important to me, like, am I afraid of food still? Am I still addicted to exercise? Am I still afraid of gaining weight? Am I still afraid of going out to eat? Okay, let me break all of those fears. And it just became about constantly challenging my fears and my priority became 
just reaching full mental recovery. And then one day I turned around and I was like, oh, like my body's done gaining weight. And I guess I can like go buy actually expensive pants now because I won't have to outgrow them. It was like, I just turned around and I was like, oh, I'm good now. Turns out everything's fine. And that really is what it's about. Like with all things in life, once you no longer need a specific outcome or an outcome in general, once you're no longer forcing an outcome, you can have that thing that you wanted so bad that you were trying to force. Like once you get to that place where you're like, I don't really care, that's when it always comes. Like I was, when I was trying to like find a partner and just like manifest a relationship, I would hear this over and over and over and over and over. It's like, it's like once you're no longer desperate in that like desperate energy for a partner, once you're no longer searching, that's when the perfect person always comes along. It's the same thing with like the like your weight in a weird way. Like as soon as you don't care, it just stabilizes and you're like, oh, because you no longer are attaching your self-worth to it. So it just loses its like ability to hurt you and you can just let go and then it can just be what it is. And then you're like, cool, now my body is this weight and everything's okay. Um, I don't know. I think there's so much fear around gaining weight and really like you deserve to live a life where you're not afraid of gaining weight anymore because your body is going to constantly be fluctuating like like i said like in the winter you're going to gain some weight and in the summer you're going to like probably lose that weight but you know what winter always comes back so you can't just constantly be living for that like summer body because the winter's always going to come and you're always gonna be like fluctuating. And then like your pants might not fit when you're like on your period or when you're going through your premenstrual phase. But then those pants might fit when you're in your follicular phase. Or like, yeah, you might have two or three kids and then your body's gonna change. And so we have to just get to this place where it's like, my body knows exactly what it needs to do actually to be healthy. And I don't need to put my judgment on that. And I can just let go of my need for an outcome. You know, so set point theory, yes, it's real. It will come. Your set point will find you. But like, don't wait for that to start living your life. Don't wait for that to start feeling good about your body. You know, don't wait for that point to come to start going out on dates and to start making friends and to start going out and like having fun and traveling. And like, don't, don't treat yourself like this version of you is inferior to the version of you where you hit your set point and you stop gaining weight. Like, no, you're literally healing yourself from the second most deadly mental illness out there. Why don't you just like affirm the heck out of yourself and be like, I'm actually a freaking badass for doing that. And like so many people will never know what you are having to go through right now. And so like, who cares what their opinion is? If they think you shouldn't be gaining weight, literally look at them and be like, you try healing from the second most fatal mental illness that you've been stuck in for God knows how long. Then come talk to me about my weight. Like, it's my Aries rising coming out. But seriously, like if somebody wants to criticize you, just literally ignore them in the most like strongest sense of the word because you, they will never know all the difficulty that you're going through. Like no one in my life, except for literally my boyfriend, knows like, because he asks so many questions about like, how am I feeling? How's recovery? Like all these things. And obviously at this point, like I'm fully recovered, but like he would constantly be asking me and checking in and like, he would let me just sit there and vent to him. And he would see how difficult and how pervasive it was to just like literally try to like recover from this thing that I was so trapped in but no one in my life no one on the outside looking in knows what I had to go through to get to this point no one else understands that like I had to wake up every day and literally like choose some vision that I didn't know would ever exist because I knew that I couldn't stay where I was anymore because I was so miserable so I was just committed to this vision of recovery that I had that I didn't know if it would ever come true. And I was constantly waking up discouraged, like 
so lonely, so scared, like just literally living with all of this fear of like, what if everybody hates me? What if it goes wrong? What if I don't like my body? What if I feel vulnerable for forever? Like recovery was the hardest thing I've ever done and the best thing that I've ever done. And no one can look at my body and say anything to me about what it should look like, what it used to look like, what it looks like now, their opinion about it, because I got myself here and I recovered from the second most fatal mental illness when I very easily could have not. Like think about how many people don't make it out of an eating disorder. Like it literally breaks my heart to think about the amount of people that don't make it out because it's so hard to recover. So just the fact that you're making it out is literally like all of the confidence in the world that you could need for the rest of your lifetime. You don't need to look any certain way. You don't need anything other than the fact that like you're doing it and no one knows how hard it's been for you and no one knows how hard like you are trying every day and so if they want to talk about your body, literally just like, I don't know, like send me their phone number or something because I will unleash the Aries rising on them. Just kidding. <laughs> Not really. I won't. I, I will actually unleash it. I just am not here for the body comments. I literally challenged some, okay, I don't even know why I'm getting so angry right now. <laughs> I literally just challenged somebody to make a comment about my body, like in my daily life. And it's like, like my boyfriend will know, like, shouldn't have gone there. Like my grandma is the CEO of like commenting on other people's bodies. And, you know, like I love her, you know, I'm, I try to be a good granddaughter, but like, I will make my opinion known because somebody has to, I'm trying to change the course of like how we view women's bodies for forever. So if that means people don't like me, then uh, that's fine with me. Anyway, um, now that I got that anger out that I didn't even know was inside of me, feel affirmed, know that your weight will settle and then it will also fluctuate and that's okay. I'm here doing it with you. Millions of other women, honestly, who knows if millions of other women are here doing it with you, but like, there's a lot of us that are like paving the way and then trying to get other women here too. And I'm not saying that it's not gonna be scary, but I am saying that you're gonna do it afraid. You're, if you're afraid, you're just gonna do it anyway. So you're good. Your set point will come. Your weight will, you'll stop gaining weight. You won't gain weight forever. That fear, just throw it out the window because it's not going to happen. That was my biggest fear is like, if I give up all control, I'll gain weight forever. But no, actually I gave up all control and then my body settled. So you're going to be fine. My heart goes out to you. If you need support, please message me on Instagram. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have just the best day ever like I'm currently having.